what's going on everyone welcome to trucker 219 so today I want to talk to you guys about what to look for in your first driving job uh, what to expect and some questions you might want to ask the recruiters of the companies you're interested in as always you want to make sure you do some research on the company before you jump into the employment they're gonna to try to set you up with orientation immediately as soon as they are interested in you Take a day, go online, go to their Facebook page, uh, do a Google search on them and see what the reviews are like. Be conscious of employees that are just disgruntled and had a bad experience and just want to be negative about it. But if there's an overwhelming amount of negativity coming from the reviews, an overwhelming amount of bad things happening at that company, and reviews from office people... Uh, former truck drivers and current truck drivers that are bad you definitely want to be cautious about going into business with this company so there's some things that you're gonna look for in your first truck driving job uh, first off your options are gonna be a little limited because you have no experience on your CDL um, getting your foot in the door is almost the number one priority um, but if you have multiple offers and multiple opportunities out there for you with the new CDL, definitely take a step back and decide what option is the best for you. With no experience, um, you're going to have less options available to you. So some things you might want to ask your recruiter, um, the recruiter for the company, before you go ahead and sign on with orientation. You obviously want to ask about pay. Uh, ask whether they pay percentage, uh, mileage, hourly. Um, ask if they pay any layover or detention pay. Uh, the difference between layover pay and detention pay is layover is if you have a load or you're waiting on a load and you're not at a shipper or receiver. Detention pay is if you're sitting at a, a shipper or receiver for an extended amount of time um, after the allotted amount of time, for me, it's two hours. At that third hour mark, I will make a hourly wage uh, just for sitting there. So ask if they pay that, and that will help you out and make you feel less anxious about getting out of there if they're taking forever, um, just so you know that you have some sort of money coming in for sitting there. Um, ask if they what the training pay is. If they pay while you are in training which they should uh, see how much that is see if they have orientation pay and how much that is um, ask if they pay for benefits and ask if they have holiday pay chances are they're not going to have holiday pay if you're an over-the-road truck driver um, with getting a new CDL most likely you're going to have to go over the road for a period of time to get some experience to open up more options and make things more available to you um, so with over the road trucking anything mileage pay if you're not moving you're not making money um, unless you obviously have that layover or detention pay if you're on home time if you have a holiday you're not getting paid unless you're working for it um, also, you need to ask about training and orientation. How long is training? How long do I have to be with a trainer um, or instructor before I can get my own truck and start making my own money? Um, orientation. Normally, they'll have a, a period of time where they'll explain to you about the company, um, let you know what the rules are, the regulations, make sure get all your paperwork signed and all that. Um, you want to see where that is and how to get there. Um, if they pay for the transportation, uh, bus ticket, plane, whatever it might be, or if they pay you for gas to get down there or up there or wherever you're at. Also, you want to ask about some home time. Um, that was the number one priority for me because I do have a family at home that I like to see. So the amount of home time I get, my first company though with a new CDL, it was every six days out, I got one day home. So I would normally try to be home every two weeks for the weekend. So definitely ask about home time if you have a family and see what option works out best for you. Uh, all in all, you definitely just want to step back, take a look, 
Um, explore your options. Don't be so quick to jump into a company because if you do that and you wind up being dissatisfied, it looks worse to look back then and see that it wasn't the right choice for you. Take a step back before you jump into orientation. Uh, read the reviews, do your research, and make sure you know what you're getting into before you jump into employment. So if you like this video, press that like button. Uh, if you have any questions for me, I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, leave it in the comments below and I will be sure to check it out. And as always, subscribe for more videos coming from me. Good luck to you guys out there and as always, be safe. Oh,